Hey, Sean, congrats on the win. Can you, hear, can you hear me okay? Not really. Started good and then it went away. Can you hear me now, coach? A little bit. Go ahead. A little bit? Okay. I'll, I'll speak loudly. Sorry, this microphone's not great. Um, it's all right. Congrats on the win. Just, uh, you know, what are where are your concerns with uh, the team's ability or inability to, to close out games once again? We saw that today. Yeah, I mean, you know, there, there's a uh, – I know the want to is there, Heather, I'd say, you know, the, the want to is definitely there. I think we're learning and growing through some of these, um, you know, we got to do a better job taking care of the football uh, and then the penalties hurt us uh, that combined on the offensive side and defensively, I thought we did some good things in the last drive. And then, you know, the, the big given fourth and long in, in the, uh, in the big two big passes back to back, you know? So uh, I think again, an opportunity for us to learn. Thanks coach. Appreciate it. Sure. Hey, Sean, uh, congrats on the win. I understand that being eight and three is more important than really any reason that you might not be eight and three. But to follow up on Heather, to what extent does that give you that teachable or coachable thing on, on the closing out and how you address it maybe going forward, just knowing what it, what, what it means uh, to, for this team to not let teams back in games because at some point that can, that can bite you. Yeah, I mean, we definitely, we definitely can clean some things up, Vic, to your point, uh, in the fourth quarter there. Um, you know, again, it, it comes back to the ball. The ball keeps people in games. And uh, we didn't do a good enough job with the ball. And we, we had some penalties there. And, and again, just to uh, you know, closing the team out, we got them in fourth and long. You know, so we got to do a better job there as well. Uh, I, I do think there was a lot of good things, and it is good. It's hard to win in this league, man. And you know it. So it's good to be 8-3. And, and one more, Sean, on mindset, because you know this as well as anybody, it, it, you're, you preach that on so many levels. Um, can, can that be a, a mentality that uh, you said the desire is there? Can you ask for more than that um, in terms of players just understanding what it means to keep control all the way through and, and not do a thing to, to mess it up when, you, when you're up by 18 or whatever? Yeah. Well, if I'm laying on the ground, you know, one of these days, I'll know why. <laughs> don't know why. <laughs> okay. you'll, you'll know. You'll know why. <laughs> <laughs> Thank it would you. be nice, Vic. It would be nice. I know. Look at this. Look at this. <laughs> I was in the buffalo with a full head of hair. I had a full head of hair when talk. I met you guys, right? <laughs> All right. <laughs> Thank <Nice>. you. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Sean. Map over here. I guess you talk about the self-inflicted wounds and you talk about, you know, the things that are keeping the other team in a game for you. What is the most frustrating? What, what self-inflicted wound is the one that, you know, gets you the most fired up, I guess. Uh, really all of them, you know, I, I, because they all, they all factor into the game. So, uh, you know, look, we came off the bye, we got to win. And, uh, and, and yeah, we've got a lot of things to clean up, which, which, and I heard, I got on the tail end of Josh's call there. Was, he's, he hit it, right? So a lot of things to clean up. That's why we go back to work, go back to practice. And uh, that's why, that's why we coach. And we've got a great group of guys who I know are going to come back with a growth mindset and, and uh, attack it head on there. I know, you know, no, no football team is complete and you've never arrived, but does it say something that in a day when you guys didn't play your best, especially down the stretch, you were still able to get a win? Feel good about that. Yeah, you're right. I don't want to get into really, you know, that too much though. You know, I'm, again, I feel good about the win, man. These are hard, hard to come by, really hard. And that's a good football team. And uh, they got a got a well coached by Anthony, as I've said all week long. And and uh, they've got good players. So just very proud of the guys that we were able to to stay uh, on the mission and stay stay focused. And you know, we had some plays that we got that we got to get cleaned up, as I said. Thank you, Sean. Yep. Hey, Sean, um, question on uh, Brian Winters. Uh, you guys said a few guys were in the mix this week. He gets his ninth start. How, how would you say he's been performing, not only today, but you know now nine games into the season with you guys? How, how would you say he's been doing? Yeah, look, he's a veteran player. that uh, you know, He's come in and, and done a nice job. And, and uh, you know, he continues to, to uh, you know, get on the same page with the other guys now. You know, we've got a little bit, a little bit of continuity uh, from one game, I guess. Um, so, uh, you know, real proud of the way he's, he's embraced what, how, you know, how we do things here. He's been really in one spot, 
his whole career and uh, in the division at that. So I really pr appreciate the way he's embraced uh, us here and, and he's added to who we are. And as you mentioned, uh, that continuity piece, is there some excitement in the building to now have this maybe group of five and maybe see what they can do over the course of a few games together? Yeah, yeah, that's a that's a that's a good thing, right? When you can have guys that play together, they've communicated together, they know looks, um, they know how each other's going to fit off each other, and, and that's all that's always positive. Thanks, Sean. Go ahead, Chris. Hey, Coach. Uh, two things, real quick. Um, first, can you just comment on how your defensive effort seemed to morph and change? to what was needed in the game. For example, you may not have gotten sacks in the first half, but you were hurrying Justin Herbert's kind of timing of his plays. You were forcing a lot of incompletions. And then in the second half, when some adverse circumstances got thrown at your defense, just the way they were able to respond every single time, particularly in the fourth quarter. Yeah, I thought that was very impressive, Chris. Uh, you know, I thought Leslie and the staff did a great job during the week. Uh, shaping a good game plan with good communication and the players embraced it and uh, they spent a lot of time this week uh, that's a good offense right and, and uh, they've been hot and and uh, with, with weapons all over and then get Eckler back I think was a big you know jolt for them and, and uh, in a good way and, and uh, our guys most of the challenge and so uh, that's what we got to do every week sorry and then on the other side of the ball just the balance that you felt your run game provided for the offense as a whole today yeah, that was big. Uh, we go from, I think, 50-some yards in the first half to, what, 173, is that what it was? Uh, some of thereabouts, you know, in the second half, and I'm proud of the offensive line, the backs, and, and uh, Coach Stage and the way he handled it. Thanks, Coach. Coach, how proud are you of the way that your team has progressed defensively? It seemed like early on in the season, everybody was kind of freaking out, and you kind of said, you know, we need to be it's, – it's early in the season. Was this – how your team has progressed going up against top offenses the last three games. How proud are you of the way they've stayed disciplined and kind of come together? Yeah, you know, I, I, again, I tip my hat to the defensive staff, Coach Frazier and the defensive staff and the players, you know, led by Tremaine and, and our front. And then, um, you know, you're looking at a back end that's done some good things also. So they're, they're really starting to play well together and, and uh, get on the same page. And, and I think that's, that's a uh, credit to all of them. You being a defensive-minded coach, does it start to feel better starting to frustrate some offenses again? <laughs> no, I, you know, I just, I, I'm not, you know, again, I, I want to give the credit where it's due to those guys. Uh, uh, you know, I try and balance my time between offense, defense, and special teams, but it does, that's, that's the defense I expect. You know, we expect that every week. Um, and I think it just, it just goes back to, and you got to start every week, fundamentals, technique, uh, spending time in the film room together, all those things is, uh, is, is a part, big part of earning the right to win, and, and they did that. Thanks, Coach. Congrats on the win. Yeah, thank you. Hey, Sean, um, was there, I guess, even more of a concerted effort to establish the run today compared to, to weeks past, especially after spending the last week in that deep dive to kind of solve it? Uh, I don't know. I mean, we just – we know, like all teams, you – you identify the gap of where you are and where you want to be, uh, Marcel, and and uh, and so then you evolve during the game, you know. And, and I think uh, I thought our, our coordinators did that, did it well. Coaches had great communication during the game, and then again, the players are the ones that got to they have to execute. They got to do it, and I thought they did that in the second half, in particular, to your point. And we've seen you win this week with a runner, a run heavier script. We saw it in week. What is it, eight, nine against the Patriots as well? Have you done enough to, you know, I guess prove or be comfortable knowing that you can win a game, whether it's throwing the ball or running it? Yeah, I think uh, you, you never want to take it for granted, but it's, it's again, developing a football team. And, you know, whether it's the defense or in this case, with the run game offensively, um, you got to continue to, to morph and evolve and grow and, uh, and develop as a football team and, and uh, you know, there's still a gap. We still, as, as been mentioned clearly on this call, we still have a lot to work on. All right, thanks, Sean. Sure. Hey, Sean, it's Kim Jones. And I know I'm asking this after a win, but I'm curious how you process some of the self-inflicted stuff, including the 15 yard penalties 
uh, and I would guess you put some of the turnovers in that category as well. Kim, I think you know me well enough. I... Um, that, that doesn't sit well with me. And the great part about it, honestly, Kim, is it doesn't sit well with our team, the players and the coaches. Right? It's one thing for, for me to get uh, upset about it, but at the end of the day, it's about clear expectations and, and our players have a great understanding for, for what, we, what we want and, and honestly what wins in this league. And, and, uh, and you, can't, you can't do that to yourself. Your players who came on, at least this Zoom I'm on, almost sounded like they lost the game. I mean, I, I think that you can take heart in the fact that they take it to heart, right? Yeah, I know my team. You know, I know our team, Kim. And, and uh, that's a great part about these guys and these gals is whether it's, you know, our staff. I'm talking about just staff, not just the coaching staff. But everyone knows we've gotten to the point where we know what, what, what uh, people know what's expected. And uh, you can't do that and expect to win games you're playing, you're living dangerously. And, and, uh, and so, you know, look at the end of the day, there's always, always things to work on. It's certainly, certainly good to, uh, to come out with a win against a good football team. Thank you, Sean. Sure, Kim.